Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. A little follow-up to the uh, Covington uh, High School <laughs> event in D.C., the, 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 the high school trip gone bad. Uh, so the kid spoke. His name is Nick, uh, Nick Sand, Sandman. <laughs> Nick Sandman, the 16-year-old uh, kid from Kentucky that stood off, that held off the Indian attack. Uh, so uh, let's do a little con con comparison. I'll play the I'll play the video over here, but let's just do a little a little a little uh, compare and contrast. Here's some here's some black Israeliites out in. Times Square. See what I'm saying? Uh, so there's, so there, so there they are preaching their religion, right? That's their religion, preaching out in Times Square. You notice also the blue light in the background. That's the police station. Right? They they do this openly. It's no problem. Right? It's it's just like uh, you know you can walk around them or you could, you know, or just I don't know. If you get close to them, they're gonna they're gonna shout you down, right? But uh, so that's so that's the the that's the behavior of the adults in the room during their the young men's trip to uh, to Washington D.C. Right now, let's hear from the young man himself. Right, he's a fucking is he a, is he a spoiled brat? Is he all the things? Is he a white racist? Is he because we hadn't heard his voice uh, until now? Right, so he go he went on um, the liberal today with uh, Kathy whoever right. It's fucking I don't know their names, but, she, but but he's on there. And wait until you hear this kid, man. I thought he was a racist and a, and a bigot. And a, it was, check this out. From this experience, that <laughs> you owe anybody an apology? Do you see your own fault in any way? As far as standing there, I had every right to do so. I don't. I. My position is that I was not disrespectful to Mr. Phillips. I respect him. I'd like to talk to him. I mean, in hindsight, I wish we could have walked away and avoided the whole thing. But I can't say that I'm sorry for listening to him and standing there. This morning, 16-year-old Nick Sandman standing by his actions in this moment gone viral. The junior at Kentucky's Covington Catholic High School now the face of this Lincoln Memorial confrontation with Native American elder Nathan Phillips. And what's it been like to be at the center of the storm? Well, I've been, it's weird to see your face on television. I've been reading a lot. Uh, and, you know, I've also been getting a lot of messages from people, both support and all. Uh, a lot of hateful things. Sandman and dozens of his classmates had just finished attending an anti-abortion March for Life rally when they converged with five Hebrew Israelites, a radical movement that is growing more militant, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center. They started shouting a bunch of, you know, homophobic, racist, uh, derogatory comments at us. What kinds of things did you hear them say? I heard them call us incest kids, bigots, racists. Uh, they call us a bunch of in incest babies, a bunch of child molesting. Did you feel threatened at all? I definitely felt threatened. There were more of you than them, but you felt like 
they were stronger? They were a group of adults, and I wasn't sure what was going to happen next. It's unclear from the videos who actually started the confrontation. Each side believes it was the first to be taunted. Sandman says his chaperone gave students permission to shout school chants, an attempt, he says, to drown out the Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> Do you think it was a good idea to start chanting back at the protesters? In hindsight, I wish we had just found another spot to wait for our buses. But I, at the time, being positive seemed better than letting them slander us with all of these things. So I wish we could have walked away. Did anyone shout any insults back or any racial slurs back at the group? Uh, we're a Catholic school, and it's not tolerated. We're, they don't tolerate racism, and none of my classmates are racist people. Did anyone say, build the wall? I never heard anyone say, build the wall, and um, I don't think I've seen it in any videos. After a review of the videos, NBC News could not hear anyone shouting that hot-button phrase, but Nathan Phillips claims he heard the teen shout, build the wall. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Phillips was with a group of Native Americans coming from an indigenous people's march when he can be seen walking between the students and the protesters. I intervened, and things just escalated from there. Phillips says he was trying to defuse the tense situation. Sandman says he was confused about Phillips' motives and why he was there. At first, we were unsure of whether he was trying to join in and drum to the our chance or what he was doing. Did you feel like he was trying to get somewhere else to go toward the Lincoln Memorial? I'm not sure where he wanted to go. And if he wanted to walk past me, I would have let him go. In that moment, he's looking at you, you're looking at him. What's going through your mind? I wanted the situation to die down. And uh, I just wish he would have walked away. But I knew as long as I kept my composure, and didn't do anything that he might perceive as aggressive or elevation of the conflict, that um, it would hopefully die. Why didn't you walk away? Well, now I wish I would have walked away. I didn't want to be disrespectful to Mr. Phillips and walk away if he was trying to talk to me, but um, I was certainly, I was surrounded by a lot of people I didn't know that had their phones out, had cameras, and. I didn't want to bump into anyone or seem like I was trying to do something. The center of the firestorm, what critics characterize as a smirk on Sandman's face. Some saying it was an attempt to stare down Phillips. What do you think that looks like? I see it as a smile saying that this is the best you're going to get out of me. You won't get any further reaction of aggression. And I'm willing to stand here as long as you want to hit this drum in my face. What some people see is a young kid with a smirk on his face. Mm -hmm. What would you say for people who see that and are making a judgment about who you are? Well, people have judged me based off one expression, which I wasn't smirking, but people have assumed that's what I have. And they've gone from there to titling me and labeling me as a racist person someone that's disrespectful to adults, which they've had to assume so many things to get there without consulting anyone that can give them the opposite story. We looked at that video and thought about how it felt from the, the other's perspective. In other words, there were a lot of you, a handful of the others. Do you think they might have felt threatened by a bunch of young men kind of beating their chests? I mean, I certainly hope they didn't feel threatened by us. Uh, I would just say that the fact remains that they initiated uh, their comments with us. And uh, I mean, they provoked us into a peaceful response of school spirit. Sandman says he didn't see other students performing what appears to be a tomahawk chop. There's something aggressive about standing there, standing your ground. You both stood your ground, and it was like a stare down. What do you think of that now when you think about that moment? Oh, I would say Mr. Phillips had his right to come up to me. I had my right to stay there. 
um, our school uh, was slandered by the African Americans who had called us all sorts of things. As for those red Make America Great Again hats that some students were wearing, Sandman says he bought his that day from a street vendor in Washington. Do you think if you weren't wearing that hat, this might not have happened or it might have been different? That's possible, but I would have to assume what Mr. Phillips was thinking, and I'd rather let him speak for why he came up to us. The conflict has caught the president's attention. He tweeted that Sandman and his classmates were treated unfairly and have become symbols of fake news. Sandman says he's appreciative of the president's tweets, but all the attention has taken a toll. What's this been like for you and for your family? It's been terrible. People have threatened our lives. Sandman says he doesn't want to live his life in fear, and he now hopes to come out of this with a deeper understanding of others. I have the utmost respect for Mr. Phillips. It's another person that freely uses First Amendment right, and I want to thank him for his military service as well, and I'd certainly like to speak with him. Well, as mentioned, we, you know, we've interviewed Mr. Phillips. Wow. Wow, what do you say to that, man? That's just an outstanding, an outstanding young man, it turns out. He never, he, he didn't take the opportunity to call, call, call the Negroes Negroes or the, or the Indian man beating his drum <laughs> like half of us would have done, right? He didn't, uh, fascinating, right? It's just, it was just, this is just a fascinating young man. I like the, I believe that uh, it looks like the, you know, today um, the the publication gave him a good shake. They gave him a, a fair shake. But again, they never mention the radical is Israeliites. Where's the fucking Israelite guy? Where's the where's the screaming Negroes in the background? Bring them into the picture. Why are you giving them a pass? Right, right. Here's a kid that said not a single derogatory nothing. Just held his ground when a when a uh, a an adult banging on a drum confronted him right and 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 he, they were they were shouted down with racial slurs right so it's interesting to see the psychology of the kid the kid is very uh he's very sure of himself he's very he's almost very like uh you know data on uh star trek data you know the character data <clears throat> he's very methodical he's very I, I it looks like they may have given him the questions they may have you know that may have been part of the agreement Let's see the let's see the questions. If you divert from the questions, you know, as lawyers, then the interview's over, right? Something, but it does. It did look like he's very he's either the most articulate sixteen year old in the fucking country, or he uh, was was given those questions. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a side note, but it did look like he was very very uh, um, clear on what he was saying. I don't see a liar. I don't see any. Any deception. So, so what's the takeaway? Again, it's a it's a colossal mainstream media blunder. All the all the racists that just just want to get rid of Trump. That's it. Just get rid of Trump. Right? And that's going to solve all their problems. Now have to look at this. They got to look at the kid, right? And he's also saying that they he he's he's he wants to meet the Indian guy, right? And talk to him, right? Now that'll probably be the next interview because. You know that the uh, main. You know that uh, today is going to get that Indian guy on there, uh, too. But uh, you know, not to pat myself on the back, I didn't watch this. I just released the video earlier this morning, and it, and I didn't watch this. Uh, well, I don't think it was even out yet when I was making the video. But it was it was clear that the the, the part of the story that was deleted, sort of, was the the radical Israelites. Man, you got to crack down on these guys. And not to say that they're causing causing the problem, but in that scenario, if those guys weren't there instigating the matter, right? Those Indian that 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 peaceful Indian fucking crew of people banging the drums wouldn't have went near those kids, right? They would have. It was off. It wasn't even something they would have thought of to try to pass through the center of the crowd, right? So it's uh, again, it's 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 racism on on display. Right, I'm not going to use the word reverse racism. It's racism, right? There's racist blacks, angry, disgruntled, racist, attacking young children at the Lincoln Monument. Marcus Conti reporting.